When people socialize with the wrong crowd, bad things can happen. They may form questionable values and develop poor attitudes toward law and order. And if their friends are criminals, they naturally learn from them and over time adopt their way of life. Psychologically, this process is known as differential association. Differential association theory is the work of Edwin Sutherland, who spent his life studying principles of criminology and found nine distinct precepts. To learn how this works in real life, let's see how Robin, a shy 14-year-old boy, ends up in jail. Criminal behavior is learned. Robin learns it after meeting a new friend. It is learned through interaction and conversation with others, often supported by storytelling. <laughs> this learning process takes place primarily in small and intimate groups. Books, video games, and mass media have little impact. The learning of criminal behavior includes sharing insights and techniques, as well as reasons and attitudes that favor criminal actions. Motives are learned by dividing the legal system into good laws and bad laws. Robin learns that the laws protecting poor people's property are good, while the laws protecting rich people's property are bad. We become delinquent once our rationale for breaking the law outweighs our rationale for respecting it. Robin steals once he believes that he needs to take from the rich to give to the poor. Our learning experiences vary in frequency, duration, the priority we give them, and how intense they are. Robin's time as a criminal is over when he and his friends all get arrested. Learning criminal behavior is like learning anything else. Robin learns this just like his sister learns math. The same mechanisms are involved. Although criminal behavior is an expression of one's needs and values, it is not explained by them. Non-criminal behavior can also stem from the exact same needs and values. Edwin Sutherland was an American sociologist whose work had a big impact on criminal policy. His theory recognizes that criminal attitudes can be learned socially. Consequently, they can also be unlearned. In other words, Sutherland helped us understand that kids like Robin can be rehabilitated. What do you think? How can we help keep society free from crimes that happen on the street and in the top floors of big corporations? And if Sutherland was right, is jail the right place for young offenders? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. This and all other Sprouts videos are licensed under Creative Commons. That means teachers from all around the world can use them in classrooms, online courses, or to start projects. And today, thousands already do. To learn how it works and download this video without ads or background music, check out our website or read the description below. If you want to support our mission and help change education, visit our Patreon. That's patreon.com slash sprouts.